welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, and today we're going to talk about one of the city's economic development programs that we have to help attract business and industry. My guest is Terry McGran from Economic Development. Thank you so much for having us. Now, Enterprise zone is going to be a very technical term that I'm going to need you to explain in a way that even I can understand it. <laughs> okay, okay, I will try to do that as, as well as I can. Um, we have a, uh, two Virginia enterprise zones in the city of Hampton. And one is the Hampton Road Center Zone and one is the Urban Zone. And um, the Virginia Enterprise Zone is a partnership between state and local government to encourage job creation and private investment in the city. So it, it offers some benefits yes, to, to businesses that choose to locate in these areas. Mm -hmm. What are some of those benefits? Well, if they are located in, in one of our enterprise zones, um, they could potentially take advantage of our real property investment grant um, offered by the state or the job creation grant. And so there, money. <laughs> exactly. And, okay. um, but there are qualifiers for those. And we do put all that information on our website and have that available for anyone to, um, to review or they can contact us directly. We frequently meet with um, new businesses that are coming in and then we work um, very strongly with our existing businesses to help with their expansions. So Terry, what, what enables something to qualify for an enterprise zone designation? Well, if somebody, for instance, expands within the city and, and they're located in the zone, then they're able to, um, if they make an investment, for instance, um, anything under $5 million, for instance, um, they could potentially qualify for $100,000 um, based upon their investment and um, then also take advantage of job creation depending upon um, them qualifying in that area as well. So, the, I mean, this is real money. This yes, is not uh, necessarily a small business program. This no, is small, no. medium, and large. Right. Every type of business, really. And, and um, new businesses or, as you said, expansions. Expand, expansions, right. And we work with quite a few, uh, like I say, of our, our local businesses. But um, when it comes to uh, a new business coming in, that is sometimes the very first thing they want to know about us. Do we have an enterprise zone? So businesses are pretty savvy about yes. what an enterprise zone is. Right, and basically all over the world, um, that's one thing they look for. If the state has offers an enterprise zone program and whether a particular city. Well, now let's look at what our two enterprise zones are. Mm -hmm. How, first of all, how, how does it get decided? Is it a city decision? Is it a state decision? Are there criteria? Yes, actually the city applies and we have very long had um, our, for instance, urban enterprise zone that was started in or designated in 1985 and um, therefore the city has grown over time. There's been a lot of residential and commercial um, expansion. Um, and in fact, we even applied for an amendment to our zone to amend the boundaries and take out a lot of residential and put it into the commercial areas that have developed over time. And I thought I remembered this um, about within the last year, mm -hmm. those boundaries have changed. So talk through us, and, and I think we can put it up on the screen, right. what is the, the urban enterprise zone? The urban enterprise zone basically um, covers the downtown Hampton area. We did expand it into an area of uh, where Willow Oaks Shopping Center is located, and um, that was previously never in the zone. So that was very helpful to the urban. Um, it covers the Kickatan Corridor and a portion of Coliseum. So really, I mean, that's three different master plan areas right. where we're looking to encourage business growth. Business and new development. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's part of it too is it works in conjunction with the master plan and the community plan to right. say these are the places most conducive for business growth. And that's right. part of why I think you, you probably took the residential areas out. You mm -hmm. don't really want an incentive mm -hmm. for a business to locate in a residential area. Right. You, you encourage them to be in these particular places. A absolutely. And um, in fact when we took residential out um, in this just occurred at the end of last year mm -hmm. and um, we had to apply you know with the state and of course it went through City Council first to even approve our application and um, uh, it was successfully uh, passed in uh, December 
and granted. So our zones have been updated on our website, so it's easy to find for anyone. Yeah, I remember that actually. Okay, Good. so let's talk about the Hampton Road Center Zone then. Mm -hmm. What does that encompass? I, I think we're looking at it now on the screen. Okay, the um, Magritte Corridor, um, where we have Hampton Roads Center North, South, and Central. Uh, Langley Research and Development Park uh, is included there, and um, much of the Coliseum area. And we were able to expand quite a bit of that, so we've got a lot more commercial all over there. But um, as well, all of our office parks within Hampton are located in one of the two zones. Oh, so Copeland is also yes. in one. Okay. Yes, Copeland, I'm, I apologize for leaving them out of the urban zone because they're a, a huge portion of the urban enterprise zone. But let's talk for a minute about the Hampton Road Center area because mm -hmm. I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that's kind of our last um, big undeveloped chunks of land that's, is that's true. In, in one of those three parks, which I consider one park. I know right. you guys make distinctions, right. but this, this, so this designation of the zone mm -hmm. is in tandem with the department's efforts to really market those, yes, those parks. Yes, absolutely. What kind of um, business opportunities do you guys see as logical, good choices for that area? Um, there's Excuse quite me. a variety. Um, we do have call centers that um, frequently, you know, look at our city. Um, otherwise, manufacturers, um, of course, the aerospace industry opens right, a lot that. of right around uh, NASA Langley, mm -hmm. and we've even um, included uh, with Creek Park, which wasn't in our zone before. So that was another extension of that last amendment. And that's not quite contiguous, but but close, yes, right? Out there, yes. closer to um, to NASA Langley and, mm -hmm. and toward Pocosin, really. Right. Right. Well, let's talk about then what kind of businesses, if you have any example of, um, of, a, of a business or a type of business who's taken advantage of this zone and mm -hmm. what it has meant. Okay. Well, um, just to give you an idea, on an annual basis when somebody, um, for instance, is expanding or moving into the city this year, they will apply for these incentives by April 1st of next year. And um, those incentives are normally paid out, you know, within a month and a month and a half afterward. And um, it, last year, we, um, let's see, we had 19 applications for either real property investment grants or job creation grants. And um, that says, a, uh, speaks volumes, really, for, yeah, that's pretty good. for the number of businesses in the area. Because that means 19 businesses were either locating or expanding in these areas. Correct. Correct. And the previous three years prior to that, there were 44 applications submitted. So, so there's a lot of growth and expansion that maybe we don't hear about. Maybe it's not big enough for a press release or, you know, doesn't make the news. Right. But what those numbers suggest is there's pretty steady mm -hmm. growth going on mm -hmm. in, in our business areas. Absolutely. And that's very important to the enterprise zone in maintaining that because the state looks at utilization. In fact, Aha. It, easily someone can lose their designation by the uh, zone not being utilized in the incentives. So who provides these grants? Is that state money? Is that local money? Is that, there a, That's state money. Okay. Um, so that doesn't come, I mean, I, it does come out of my pocket, but not just <laughs> Hampton taxpayers' right. pocket. It is a state program that mm. helps support, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is a real advantage that we have our two zones and they have been very well utilized. And who decides um, whether the money is granted or not? Is that the that, state? That is the state because the applications actually come um, through us and that's one of my functions in terms of verification of locations and um, are they really what they say they are? Right, right. And are they located where they say they are? Right. And then it goes to the state, like I said, by um, April 1st of the following year that they've received their CO or, or whatever. Okay. So. so Terry, how are you feeling? I, I know we've been through a, a fairly long and painful recession mm -hmm. where maybe business, although your 44 number suggests there's been a, a pretty steady expansion. Yes, are you projecting that going forward you will see more applications and more growth and new businesses yes. in these areas? Based upon what I'm seeing now, just for this year, I expect to have almost the same amount of applications as we did last. So that's very, very encouraging for us and very important to our economic development department. You know, one of the things I've noticed is that the economic development, you guys operate on a different time scale than mm -hmm. we do. You know, mm -hmm. in the media and in social media, there's like constant turnaround, constant churn. Right. Something happens today, it's done the next day. Right. You guys have this like 
two year. I mean, it and is sometimes longer. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, I might hear about something in economic development, and it doesn't actually come to fruition for a very, very long time. Right. Right. Are you seeing that uptick here, which we might not see for two years or more? Mm hmm. Yes, we are. In fact, if you were to look at some of the things we do and some of the things that we track internally, you would see projects that have been going on for one, two, and three years in some cases, but may be right on the, on the cusp of, of coming to a conclusion. So there might be some announcements um, right? in our future for Hampton? Yes, I would expect so. That would I'm be very great positive news. about that. That'd be great news. And hopefully we can have somebody back from those companies and from economic development that mm -hmm. can talk about how these incentives or the economic development authority, you know, work together to right. help to help bring these things to fruition. Yes, and over time, um, people have been taking advantage of the incentives for quite a while, and that would be a great opportunity for them to speak to it. I think, too, to maybe look at some businesses and how these incentives have helped them grow mm -hmm. and stay in Hampton and expand in these zones, that would be a wonderful story. It would. We would oh. look forward to that. Now, Terry, uh, this is not uh, an area in which I have any expertise. Is there anything that I didn't ask or that we didn't explain fully? Well, I think it's best for people to know that the Virginia Enterprise Zone exists here, that we have two, that all of our business parks are covered, and that the information is available on our website with qualifications and other incentives that may be available under the... Um, for anyone to have one of the zones, one of the things we didn't hit on was that Hampton also has some Enterprise Zone incentives that they offer. And um, business, um, business tax and license... Um, and utility tax uh, refunds, and also a uh, capital investment grant. And all that information is located on the website as well. So all this really does speak, for the average person, what this says is we have a lot of programs yes. and, and grants and ev efforts designed mm -hmm. to attract some businesses. Right. And we are welcome, mm -hmm. uh, welcoming those businesses into this area and also working pretty closely with the businesses we do have in those industrial right. and, and business park areas right. to help them expand if they're able to. And, and if the economy loosens up, we hope to see some more of that. Yes, we certainly hope so. And we're working on many of them right Right now. That sounds great. Well, okay. I hope to come back and have you tell us some success, some more success stories later. Well, we'll look forward to um, that. But in the meantime, good luck with your efforts. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming by. Certainly. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode of Round Robin.